Hi guys, it's Andy from Nismo Tech. Today we're going to be conducting our review of the Sharking Shark Zone K30 Illuminated Gaming Keyboard. We have done an unboxing video which is going to be linked down below in the description and also on our website nismotech.com as well as links to where you can actually go and find availability and pricing for this. Since doing the unboxing, um, and I've just literally checked right now, this keyboard is available for just over £21 in the UK. So, fantastic price for this keyboard you get a lot of um sort of features specifications for uh, a keyboard that is coming in at just over 20 pound which is absolutely insane so the pricing on this is absolutely fantastic and it sort of um changed my sort of view uh, a little bit further on the actual keyboard so we're just going to take a quick look around the box stars here as you can see we've got the sharp zone k30 on there we have got the us layout version Moving on to the back, we've obviously got information in multiple different languages. It is available in German, English, uh, US, Chinese, French, Spanish, Croatian, Bulgarian, and Japanese layouts. So quite a variety. So got a nice image of the actual keyboard here and some of the actual specifications um, of the actual keyboard. Like I said, I did cover all of them in the unboxing. So we're gonna go and basically get the keyboard out now. And I have actually been using this for uh, a couple of weeks. Um, yeah, about a couple of weeks um, as my main keyboard, uh, replacing my Kugel one that I have at the moment. And I was thoroughly impressed. And I'll come on to that in a little bit. My, in a little bit. So inside, obviously, you get the keyboard. You've got your software CD, which is obviously going to contain the software driver manual, etc. Uh, we've got these two little um, end caps which I didn't really sort of use to be honest with you and you've also got a game over come in shark zone uh, door hanger which is always you know quite a nice little addition so we're just going to go and close the box back up and I'm going to run through the keyboard with you Okay, so we're going to start by taking a look around the, the layout and the, the physical aspect of the K30. First thing that you're going to notice is obviously the bright yellow cable that comes from the top right hand side here. It terminates in a gold plated USB 2 cable. Uh, it's not braided, but it's, it's sort of reasonably quite tangle free. You have got a sharp zone uh, Velcro zip tie around here, so you can obviously bundle your cable up. Um, around the keyboard, we've obviously got a predominantly black with bright yellow accents. Got a shark zone up at the top here and shark hewn down at the bottom here um, on the top left you've got your profile keys and then down on this side you've got five macro keys down the side here you've also got multimedia keys I'll bring that in here hopefully you can see that multimedia keys are now accessed by using the function key and then obviously pressing the relevant one up at the top here so you've got multimedia um, and uh, a couple of other things function f12 for example disables the windows key as well um, obviously you've got the usual num caps lock scroll up at the top here with that indicator to show whether or not the windows key is active or deactivated um, so it's really nice that they've actually included that especially for the price that the keyboard is coming at got quite a nice sort of size wrist support down the back here um, and it's quite a nice sort of angle um, it, my hands are well, I don't know medium to large-ish um, and they, they fit very very comfortably um, and sort of typing when I was doing a lot of typing so I've been using this for a couple of weeks it was very comfortable to actually type with and game with I didn't have any problems with the comfort aspect of the keyboard so um, we're going to move around to the, the back of the keyboard and obviously as you can see bright yellow on the back here um, we have obviously got some uh, rubber tips all the way around the actual keyboard in four corners to stop it from sort of sliding around but one of the things that I do really like is the fact you've actually got a couple of different levels um, on the uh, risers over here so obviously you've got a small um, you've got flat you've got medium and then obviously you've got high now those little rubber tips um, that I said I didn't really use that much um, I did try it with them and without um, and what these rubber sort of things do is just literally slide over the top here um, so I see I suppose majority of people would probably use them I found that I didn't need to actually use them um, but also keeping them on is not a problem at all because obviously they just fold down and out the way and apart from that Looking around the keyboard, there are no USB, no audio jacks or anything like that, nature, no pass through. It's just a pure, simple keyboard. Um, I'm just going to rise it back up for a moment. There we go. So, um, yeah, it, it, 
it's a, it's a nice keyboard obviously it's not mechanical it's a rubber tip dome so with that in mind you're not going to get the, the sort of noise that you would normally get from a uh, mechanical and you're not going to get the sort of tactile feedback that you'd expect but for 20 pound this is a fantastic sort of entry level gaming keyboard um and i I would personally use this myself for gaming and for typing. The space bar itself is obviously a lot larger down on, on in the middle here, which again makes it a lot easier, especially with where your thumb goes when you're doing sort of gaming, uh, etc. It does make it a lot easier to actually press. Natural keys themselves do seem to be a little bit larger, um, a couple of more larger than sort of majority of key caps on the market at the moment. Um, so yeah, really impressed with that. Also, one other thing to note, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, um, but the, the arrow keys down here have kind of like got a bit of um, um, a raised area around the outside of the actual keycaps. So obviously when you're, you're putting your fingers into the, the actual keys, um, it provides a little bit more grip um, and just makes it a little bit easier to actually press as well. Your fingers aren't going to slide off as easily. Um, so yeah, really impressed with the overall look, the overall design. It's very comfortable to actually use. Um, and like I say, when typing um, on the actual keyboard, sort of no real sort of noticeable noise compared to, to a mechanical. Um, and you know, everything's very easily accessible with a function key up at the top here. Uh, you've got the function and escape key for your lighting effects that I'll show you in a moment. Um, profile keys work fine. Uh, macro keys uh, as well worked really well. It's just a, a very very nice sort of simple basic um, Gaming keyboard that's at a fantastic price So we're going to go now have a look at the software and look at the lighting effects on this as well Okay, so now with the keyboard plugged in I'm going to go and show you the various different lighting effects on the keyboard There's actually four of them. Um, they're quite basic Hold down the uh, the function or Sharkoon key and press it with the escape key and you've got 50% lighting. Then we've got 100% lighting. And then we have got the pulsating mode, which as you'll probably know, fades the light in and out. Next option is to have the backlighting off. So it's really quite simple to actually, you know, turn the lights on and off um, if you don't wish to use them. So I'm just going to go and turn the lights out at the moment. Okay, so the only light that we have are from uh, my monitors that are up on the side here. So we're just going to go and press the function to go for 50% lighting, which looks quite bright on the camera. It's more of a, a pearl white rather than a sort of bright white. I'm going to go and knock that up to 100% and that really does light the keyboard up really well. All the keys are, are covered um, with the exception of this little section of the actual space bar down here. Um, but all the other keys are lit up very nicely indeed. I see in the pulsating mode, it goes off and then straight back on again. So I'm just going to turn them off and I'll see stick it back to 100%. I really do like the way that it actually glows. Um, like I said, it's it's not too bright when you're actually looking at the actual keyboard itself. Just sort of lift you up try and give you a bit of a more of a bird's eye view obviously the Sharkoon logo does light up down here would have been nice um, for the Sharkoon logo to light up down here which it doesn't like I said the the shark zone one not Sharkoon the shark zone one at the top here does actually light up as well so yeah really really impressed with the actual lighting um, I think it looks absolutely fantastic and they've done a great job the shark zone logo obviously fades in and out as well but yeah really impressed with the actual lighting so let's now go and have a look at the software that's included okay so we're now going to go and look at the actual software that's actually included and as you can see a nice layout of the actual keyboard uh, you've got a variety of different profile selectors and when you're pressing the profile key down on the bottom it actually um, shows up on the windows desktop that you switch between the, the various different profiles and also it shows here that you're actually switching between them um, as you're pressing them on the keyboard so so you can go in and create your profiles um, and I said you give it a profile name, you give it an ex executable, etc. Um, I see on the, the keys here, you've got the various different key um, as you're moving across them. And you can then also go in and assign a key to a particular command um, or, you know, change the actual um, key binding um, and also change it to, to act like uh, rapid fire left mouse button etc so you can obviously go and change all of that as well which is really good to see um, 
So see, so you've got uh, an option down here to create a profile, load profile, save profile, and edit profile. And I see so you've got the uh, the five um, macro keys down at the bottom here. Um, and I see the, the various different profiles along the top. Into the macro manager, um, then I see you can go in and, and actually start recording. Uh, so you've got to create a macro first. So we're going to go and create a new one. I'm going to call it uh, Far Cry, for example. So once we've done that, we can then go and start recording. And I see it's going to record all the various different um, keys that you're actually pressing. You can also go in and change the amount of times it actually loops through those actual keys. Um, and then I'll see click OK to, to also save them um, and uh, complete them on the system. And then obviously once you've done that, you can then obviously go in and assign it over to your profile. Um, and I'll see you know go and uh, do the various other bits and pieces that you you wish to do in order to uh, go and sort them out into the macro settings. And here you can see you can obviously go and assign all the various different um, macros up to number five to either the assign to the macro like we just created. You've got media player, so you can actually go and assign them over to media. Uh, you've got basic ones like web, forward, back, etc. Uh, mouse, standard, um, assign a shortcut, launch a program, or deactivate the actual macro key. So if, you, uh, if you're if you one of those type of people that sort of accidentally press the wrong macro key, you can obviously then go in and obviously go and change that as well if you do wish to. To, to obviously go in and do that um, you can also go and change the insert the home the page up the delete the end the page down etc as well which is another real cool feature it's not just these five macro keys that you've got down the left hand side you can also go and change these to, to do various different bits and pieces as well Moving into advanced settings, in here you can change the polling rate, 125 hertz, 500 hertz, and 100 hertz. You can switch whether the window key is on or off. Um, and also, if we just go and uh, press that as well, you can see pressing the key also notifies down you, you down the bottom right, um, and also uh, obviously switches it between on and off on here. Um, down the lighting effect, obviously you can control the lighting via the software as well as via the keyboard. So the software itself is very, very simple to actually use. Really impressed with how simple and easy it actually is to create macros. Uh, the, the, the variety of options that you actually have is really, really good on the software. I couldn't find any fault with the actual software. Honestly, you can go and reset everything, um, delete everything, restore everything back to uh, the factory default, etc. So a really good piece of software. So now to my final thoughts about the Sharkoon Shark Zone K30 Illuminated Gaming Keyboard. As you're watching me doing uh, a little bit of gameplay and obviously having a look at a bit of V-roll uh, on the actual keyboard that I've done. So, um, this keyboard is obviously not a mechanical keyboard by any stretch of the imagination. It's not a high scissor action or anything like that nature. It is, it is a rubber dome tip. But considering the fact that this keyboard in the UK is coming in at uh, around about £21, it makes it a very, very attractive choice for those that are looking to um, sort of get their first game keyboard um, to, to purchase for your kids, for example, if you want to get them into to gaming on the PC, or for sort of more of a, a sort of overall overall general person that sort of does sort of web web work or, or anything like nature a little bit of gaming on the side it really is a fantastic choice so the keyboard is extremely comfortable to type with um, using this for sort of day-to-day -day normal use emails Facebook uh, on the internet writing up documents etc it's very comfortable and very responsive to actually use and very quiet I do like the fact that it has got a, a sort of bulging space bar and the overall layout of this keyboard is really good with nice feel to the actual keycaps. The backlighting is very simple, it does give off a, a more of a pearl white um, look across uh, the actual backlighting and with the 50%, 100% and pulsing effect and also the option to turn it off, it is quite basic but the fact that it is included in the keyboard of this price does again make it look very good indeed. And also the lighting does obviously cover all of the keys, which is something that is, is really noticeable. And even when it's at 100%, it's not too bright that it's going to distract you. And the, the coverage of the LEDs that are under the keycaps is really impressive. 
Using the software that's included with the K30 is very simple, very easy to actually do. Recording your own macros, saving them on profile, assigning the keys to various different tasks, operations, shortcuts, um, launching applications, etc. is really good. And the fact mm -hmm. that you can actually disable the uh, macro keys as well, I think is also something that is, is really good to actually see included in the software. When it comes to gaming, I see this keyboard is marketed as a gaming keyboard. It's not going to perform as responsively as a mechanical keyboard. However, it's more than adequate for the beginner, the sort of general casual gamer, etc. Uh, I see if you're an advanced pro gamer, then I see you're not. You're probably not going to be looking at this keyboard uh, in any way. But the, for for casual gaming, um, it, it it really does perform very well. So you've got the adjustable polling rate on there as well. If you do want to add a, a little bit more sensitivity to the actual keyboard, um, but I personally didn't have any problems. I'm not a, a massive gamer, so for me using this keyboard when gaming, um, I found it a joy to use, and I didn't experience any problems at all. The keycaps um, and the, the actual feel and the response from the keys were were sort of perfectly adequate for my use, and in general. I just very very impressed with the keyboard so if you're looking for a budget gaming keyboard that's got illumination it's got macro keys it's got profile keys it's got a variety of different options it's a nice black and yellow style and a, a real nice overall design then this keyboard for the price is an absolute steal so we hope you liked our review don't forget there are links down below where you can actually go and check the availability and purchase this keyboard through amazon and if you are interested in this keyboard we would appreciate it if you were to click using our link so we'll look forward to seeing you in our next video thanks for watching our video and we do hope you enjoyed it please do leave a comment down below and hit that like button don't forget to subscribe to us on youtube and also visit our website nismotech.com where you'll find all the products we've done videos for as well as our current giveaways and the latest tech news and press releases we hope to see you again soon